Hey YouTube. All right, well, the guys at Lumen Top decided to uh, send us a light to do our special kind of, uh, well, shall we say, testing. And uh, got us a Lumen Top battery here. And uh, it is, you know, the 18650. This is the Bravo. It has the taller, uh, I guess you'd call that the, the positive terminal. It's not flat like some of the others. Now I know there's some that have uh, little electronics in there for controls and whatnot, but that's a whole other thing. What we have here is get it out and show it to you. There's the lumen top Tango Delta 16 or TD 16. Now I've had it out, took a look at it real quick before I brought it over to you, but uh, we'll show you what comes in the box. You got the light. A pretty happening sheath. Molly cable, which is really cool. And of course, the belt loop for those who don't do that. And uh, oh, there's something in the bottom. And they're good and tight. Definitely would get retained. If you were wearing this on a duty belt or something like that, the uh, it'll stay where it's supposed to stay. So, good sheath. Got that off the side. And uh, as part of it, you've got some extra O-rings. And you've got an extra button cover hiding in there. And then you've got a bright orange lanyard. The box is actually pretty cool too. They spent some uh, they spent some time packaging it up. Didn't just you know show up in a brown paper bag. Not that anything here ever shows up in a brown wrapper, but that's a different story. Basic instructions. Some propaganda and instructions in about. 200 different languages, whatever. And for, for us, for me, the important one is it's there in English. So, there's the box, instructions, and whatnot. Let me get that out of the way. Um, the bottom line is, it's a high power flashlight. I forget the lumens. I'll put all the information from the website down below so you can check it out. But uh, right off the bat, it's pretty hefty. And a lot of it has to do with the heat sink that's built into the top half of it. You know, basically you're on off switches here. And it's aircraft aluminum. It's built real, it seems to be built real well. It's got your pocket clip. You know, it has the things that a flashlight should have. <laughs> there goes the rooster. Sun just came out. Um, it has the important things that a flashlight should have. I personally think this light's a little, uh, a little hefty to have a pocket clip on it, but hey, okay, that's fine. And it does have this edge that's rubberized. It's kind of a grommet that fits over, and that'll keep it from rolling across the table if you set it down. And that's also kind of cool. And it has a spot to put the lanyard on here, and it does have some crenellations around here, so I suppose if you had to bonk somebody on the noggin with it, fine. It'll also stand on its, uh, on its tail, so it'll, you know, it can shine up and use it as a, you know, an aerial light. But uh, up here is where the business end in. Like I said, the tail cap has the on-off switch. This is where your features are. Um, there's a few different levels, and there's, I think it's a, uh, I think there's an SOS or a strobe built into it, too. Now, me personally, I don't care about that stuff. Um, this is going to be a ranch light. This is what we're looking at it from the perspective of. Um, it's got a rubberized edge. It's a cover over here. I don't want to take it. I really don't want to take it off. One of the interesting things, though, was this frosted uh, lens, and I thought that would cut down on the lighting. It doesn't. That, that's actually mildly surprising because when I first saw that I kind of went, uh, boy, no. But, um, you know, as we'll see during testing, that thing's actually pretty darn bright. And they did provide a 3400 milliamp battery. So we'll just throw that in there. I mean, it's a flashlight. It's pretty straightforward. on
Okay, there's your brightness levels. And I don't remember exactly, there we go. Hopefully the epileptics watching aren't uh, fishing out on the floor. But uh, pretty straightforward. There's your slow strobe. So that's actually pretty cool. I've used it in low mode so far, just kind of carried it around. This is, I did this, I'm doing this unboxing for you, but I had, had, I have had it out. I didn't have a charger for the battery. So I had it out, charged it over a friend's house, mucked about with it a little bit, just used it uh, to walk around the yard. And so far, so good. But uh, bottom line, the, it's got a Cree in here and that, that you know, and people will say, oh, use LEDs. They're much cooler than other lights and blah, blah, and they are. But to say that an LED doesn't get hot is a misnomer because they certainly do. And this big heat sink helps that a bunch. Um, batteries don't like heat. Basically nothing electronic or uses power likes heat. So the cooler you can keep it, the better. And while I'm sure this uh, heat sink adds what some may consider too much bulk to the light. I don't. Now, I have a medium sized hand and it fits in my hand just fine. It's not disgustingly heavy. Yeah, compared to some other lights it is, but you know, it's a better machine. It does more things than some other lights do and it does, st it does stay cool and the lights seems to last a long time. But for now, the idea is we'll get to testing and we'll come back and tell you how things went. But for right now, there's the unboxing, there's the goodies that you get, plus the instructions for the Lumen Top TD-16. Stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll get to testing. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time around.